begin viewing the collection, select Exhibition. To hear the museum curator's preface about Mablethorpe's approach to photographing flowers, select Curator. By selecting Catalog, you can view individual photographs as well as use the Zoom feature. You may return to this menu from any slideshow by clicking at any time. Clicking on any picture shows that photo full frame. You can use the zoom feature by first clicking the magnifier and then selecting a picture. To turn zoom off, click the magnifier again. Clicking on the arrows at the bottom of the frame takes you to another screen in the catalog. To return to the main menu, click the menu button. Robert Maplethorpe's flower photographs capture an elegance, verve, and sensuous beauty that is clearly the product of his unique artistic vision. Many photographers have taken pictures of flowers, but few have used the camera the way he did, instilling monumental dignity and graceful simplicity 
to the complex shapes and brilliant colors of floral sprays and blossoms. Robert Maplethorpe's flowers can stand along the finest floral paintings and photographs in modern art. His bouquets of irises or tulips, elegantly poised against a sun-drenched background, compare favorably with any flower grouping painted by Vincent van Gogh. The textures, the colors, and the organic forms of the flowers are always persuasively rendered and unmistakably Maplethorpe's. Maplethorpe's flowers are equally sensual. The supple, voluptuous shape of this calla lily's trumpet-like outer petal and inner flower is in Maplethorpe's photograph as erotic as any painted flower abstraction by Georgia O'Keeffe. The coiling and twisting forms of the flower in prime bloom suggest the universal, life-affirming symbolism of all flowers. Born in a suburb of New York in 1946, Robert Maplethorpe studied art and photography in Brooklyn. For more than a decade preceding his untimely death in 1989, he enjoyed both critical and popular acclaim for his stunning photographic portraits and still lifes. But throughout his brief career, Maplethorpe repeatedly turned to flowers as one of his favorite subjects.
Thank you.